So I'm of Ukrainian heritage. Both my parents are first generation. And I grew up in Vernon. That was a, a very English community. And I always felt that I was different to most of the kids that I grew up with. Pre-World War I, there was approximately 160,000 Eastern Europeans who immigrated to Canada and were noted then as aliens. And of course, when the war broke out, they called them uh, enemy aliens because they came from a country where Canada was at war. So they created a number of registration offices across Canada and they asked so-called enemy aliens to register with your local authority, relinquish all your weapons, and report on a monthly basis to say that you're on your farm farming. Unfortunately, they incarcerated 8,579 civilians um, in 24 internment camps literally across Canada from Halifax, Nova Scotia to Nanaimo, British Columbia. So in 1997, I was asked to research the Vernon internment camp and unveil a plaque. I did not know that this had happened at the time. I was shocked that this had happened in the community that I grew up in, on the property of the high school that I attended. And I did not know at that time that I had a direct connection so these cards are my grandparents' registration cards, deeming them as enemy aliens. When uh, internees were arrested, their wealth was confiscated and forced into slave labor. The uh, British Columbia government felt that they had the right to use this cheap labor to create their infrastructure and build up their parks uh, for public use. So in particular in Vernon, the Ukrainians and other Europeans were sent out to create the highways in this, in our Okanagan area. 107 died during their incarceration in the internment operations. And what's also interesting is 106 went mentally insane. It has had an impact on generations, either them knowing that a family member was interned or that they didn't know. And it maybe explains a lot of maybe why a family member was why they, what, you know, how they were because of what happened to them. Um, so these uh, photographs I have here are from Fred Cozy, who spent six years of his childhood in the Vernon internment camp and was incarcerated there with his cousins. I have the cutest photo here of uh, children playing and running and uh, what, one thing Mr. Cozy said to me when he came to Vernon, he'd never been back until 1997 for the Vernon internment plaque unveiling. And when he came to and stood on the ground where the internment camp was, uh, with tears in his eyes, he looked up at the hillsides and he said, for six years of my life, I looked up through the barbed wire fence at the hillsides in Vernon, and he says it hasn't changed. But he says, as a child, I'd look through the barbed wire and not understanding why. So the city of Vernon has been a wonderful community in embracing their history, but some people are not comfortable. They don't understand why we have to talk about it. Why are we bringing up 100 years later, good or bad? It's what happened, it's a part of who we are, and I ho I'm hopeful that our community and our societies are embracing the fact that we're all immigrants other than the First Nations, and that we should be respectful of each other's heritages, and we all have something very special to share with one another, and I think that's what makes us Canadians.